All right, we're gonna do a little quick animation here. We've got our Dave uh, project that we had before, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna we've got a body from. We're just gonna drag that body in, and we'll see that the body is now over his face. So that's because his body is on a higher layer than his face, and that's overlaying it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop his body down. And as you can see now, his body is below his face, which isn't really as good because we want to be able to say, see his body as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, click on the head and we're going to use this green little button here. We're going to move his head up and we'll come down to the body and move it down. We'll just line it up so it looks like it's pretty good. And move his head up here a little bit. Like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is animate him. And the way you animate is you make sure you turn on animate editing mode. And we're going to click that. You know you're animating because of this red thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to move, say, to frame eight. What we're going to do is flip his head. So we're going to go to this area here in the transform. We're going to pick the scale and we're going to change the first value to a negative value. And as you can see, it's put these little thingies here. And so as if we animate it, you can see it does some sort of squishy head thing, which really isn't what we want to do. So this is, uh, you don't want to be going through and doing all your animation and you know um, finding out that you've done this particular mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change here, I'm going to disconnect it, and I'm going to right mouse button click, and I'm going to say interpolation constant. And that's going to stop that um, linear, you know, twisting thingy dingy. So now we're going to come back out here to frame eight, double click, put a minus here. Oh, yeah, and there we go. And here we get our keyframe, and let's just come over here do it the same thing now a quicker way instead of constantly doing the minus 60 60 is you can come over to here say the frame you want pick the you know the rotation or the flipping you want and then go duplicate and then it'll put uh, put that there and that was a right mouse button click duplicate so let's just stroke it here and you can see it's so back and forth. So Hasta la vista, baby. And that looks pretty good. Maybe another thing we'd like to do is rotate the head. So the way we do that is we have to uh, put a rotate on top of the, the head. Um, and if we do that now, we just do a transform. We put a rotate here, and say we come out to frame five, and we rotate him. It rotates the whole body, and we don't really want to do that. That's because it's above all these things here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this rotate, and we're going to put it in the group layer. And then we're going to expand that. We're going to drag this guy up here. And this is putting things into the layers is always a bit of a problem. As you can see, it's And that just is not going to work, is it? So let's undo that. Undo the rotate. And put this guy in a group layer. And then I'll click on this guy and then go new layer. Transform. Rotate. And that'll put the rotate on here. And then when we rotate, it just rotates the head. This is pretty much what we want. Now, if we put the rotation up here, Going to rotate the head wrong. So you want to make sure where your axis is. And we're going to control Z and get to where we want. And give you a little bit of rotation. 
Move that rotation. And let's see how it looks. Hasta la vista, baby. Now in this case, we're using like a linear movement and that's okay. And um, if you want it to be jagged, then you would have to change it to, uh, you'd have to come in here and disconnect it and then change that to constant. And then you could, and you would get more of a jagged movement on the head. Maybe not that much. We play it again. Hasta la vista, baby. Let's just move it down here a lot. Hasta la vista, baby. And you can see you get more of a jagged motion instead of a linear motion. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to decide which layers you want to move smooth and which layers you want to move in a jacket motion so that pretty much um what we do is we just quickly render this rend preview render it uh, 15 frames per second Hasta la vista, baby. And i think we'll do that again with a better uh better quality. I don't know where that quality came from. Now I don't have the greatest of computers here, but um, it's rendering out fast enough, I guess. Hasta la vista, baby. And there you go. There's a quick little animation for you if you want to get started right away.